Hi and welcome to Penang Heritage Food Trail. I'm Erilyn and I'm your host for today. Now the Penang Heritage Food Trail is about food lovers venturing into Georgetown recently recognised as the UNESCO World Heritage Site in search for exciting places, interesting food and fascinating stories. Now this series is presented to you by HTC, one of the world's largest smartphone manufacturer, organised by yourfoodreview.com where you can find great places to check out in partnership with In Penang, the premier society and tourism magazine and this is produced by Squalet. Now last but not least, this is also supported by the Penang State Tourism Expo. Now in this episode, we are checking out Nostalgie, located at Stewart Lane and what do we have here? Let's go take a look. Nostalgie is a family-run cafe come hotel business located in the Georgetown UNESCO World Heritage Site. Open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., this place is managed and operated by siblings Jin Lee and Jason Lee. Nostalgie is tastefully decorated with some east and west touches while maintaining its colonial days architectural structures. The first floor has been turned into a boutique homestay hotel with four rooms available for rent. The kitchen is helmed by Jason, who is a self-trained chef who believes in freshly cooked meals without the use of any preservatives. They are also very generous with the ingredients used in their dishes. Currently serving homemade pastas, pizzas, drinks and dessert, they plan to expand their menu in the near future. However, one of the must-try dessert that they have now is the carrot cake. Okay, we are now here having a little chat with the owners of Nostalgie. We have with us Jason, Margaret and Michael. So let's find out a little bit about them. So Jason, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm Jason. Um, I'm a self-taught chef and a partner of the place, basically. <laughs> Hi, I'm Margaret. As you know, mother to the chef. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael. I'm uh, actually the manager of Nostalgie Cafe. Basically, friends with Jason, we've been, we met quite some time already, for quite some years. And uh, basically, this is a new place. That okay, thank you very much. Now, when I stepped into Nostalgie, I definitely felt like I just came back home. In fact, to my grandma's place, you know, those days. So, can you share with us, how did you come about with this concept and what is Nostalgie about? Um, well, basically, it's all about good food. Um, actually, me and my sister, we have been looking for a place to start a cafe. But then uh, we came up with this place which pretty much looks like a house. So we had this idea to just start a cafe here and maybe have some rooms upstairs for the guests to stay uh, for homestay. And also it's because we saw these two screens and we fell in love with it. So that's it. We just went ahead with it. Yeah. Okay, I understand that uh, Nostalgie is actually more than just a cafe. Could you share with us what else Nostalgie have to offer? Definitely. Uh, basically, Nostalgie is just one cafe downstairs and we actually have four boutique rooms. It's not actually a hotel, it's actually a homestay type of room. And actually everything comes in, it's like heritage plus modernities where we cater for the new generation. And also, we are also a, actually a gallery. We also have artwork inside the building itself with good food and, and good rooms and everything. You know, with the, with the growing roads down in Stewart Lane, this area, we're trying to push it up. So with a few more places like this, I think Penang should be a very, very interesting place. So Jason, you are actually a chef yourself. So can you share with us what kind of food you serve here? Um, basically right now it's Italian food. But um, as you know, I'm not a trained chef. But I believe in uh, fresh ingredients. And also only serve what you think is really good. We are not going to concentrate on Italian food actually. We are actually going to branch out on some local food. Not hawker food. Um, probably food that mum cooks at home, uh, things like that. So probably that will happen in a month or two, I think. Yeah. You actually have your mum here to tell you what is home cooked food all about. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your time and sharing some information about Nostalgie with us. Thank you.
Okay, we are now with two participants of the Penang Heritage Food Trail. We have Brandon and John Kaw, who will share with us what you think about this place. So, what do you think, Brandon, of Nostalgie? Uh, well, I think uh, Nostalgie, um, you know, they serve some really interesting food, right? Uh, you know, such as their pizza and also their pastas. They've come up with some of their, you know, original recipe. It's a place that worth visiting. I think that Nostalgie is, uh, they still manage to retain the heritage feel of the whole Prevo houses. They maintain the whole thing very nicely. And then I love the atmosphere here. And for those who love Prevo houses, they should really pay a visit to here to get the feel of how the heritage houses are. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Okay, participants of Penang Heritage Food Trail, welcome to the next session of this game. It is the question and answer game. So as you all already know, this will, there will be six questions asked and this is where you can earn your points. Okay, and the winner who have the highest point will walk away with a HTC Wildfire S. Once you know the answer, raise your finger and you will get the chance to answer. And if you cannot find the answer, you actually have three chances to use the lifeline that will lead you directly to the owner of this place and they will help you with the answer and you can get your answer from there but you only have three chance throughout this whole series okay so we shall proceed with the first question at station four that is at nostalgia explain nostalgia the word and where does the word derive from okay zoe is she put up first so we will pass to zoe uh, yearning for um for the past and often uh, in idealized form and then uh, remi uh, rem reminding the individual of uh, the olden uh, memory from France. Okay, that is correct. So one point for you, Zoe. Okay, now moving on to question number two. When does Nostalgia start operating? Uh, October 2011. Okay, that's the correct answer. Nostalgia actually start operating uh, from October 2011 this year. Okay, next question. How many rooms are for rent at Nostalgia? Three rooms. Oh, sorry, that is the wrong answer. So I will reopen the question to the rest. How many rooms are for rent at Nostalgie? Uh, the answer is four. Correct, that's actually the answer is correct. Four rooms are for rent here. Okay, going on to question number four. Explain one of the unique features of the chicken and feta pizza. Okay, uh, one of the unique features is their homemade uh, the vessel sauce, right, as well as their uh, feta cheese. Sorry, that is not the complete answer. We are looking for something more. So, I will reopen the question. Okay, question number four. Explain one of the unique features of the chicken and feta pizza. Okay, the fat, uh, you were talking about the chicken and feta cheese, right? They, 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 use, the, they use the virgin uh, olive oil as one of their ingredients, uh, which most of them, they use the basic one. Uh, they use the distilled three times uh, olive oil. So, ah... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so it's very virgin. <laughs> Correct. So the important feature that we must stress is that it, they actually use the virgin olive oil. Okay, that's the complete answer. Okay, moving on to question number five. What is the address of Nostalgie? Ah, okay, you have the answer. Huh? Can I use the <laughs> Hello, uh, is that Nostalgie? Yes, uh, I'm actually Brandon. Uh, you know, I'm part of the Penang Heritage Food Trail. And I uh, have a question, uh, you know, I'd uh, like to know what's the address of, uh, you know, your premise. Number 34, Stewart Lane. Okay, I've got the answer now. Thank you. All right. And uh, the answer is uh, 34, Stewart Lane. Okay, that is the correct answer. So, Brandon, you have used your two lifelines. You have one more left in this series, okay? All right, moving on to the final question at Nostalgie. Okay, listen carefully, yeah. What is the name of the artist who drew most of the paintings in Nostalgie? Okay, I see Sakuru's finger first. I would like to use the lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer, Esther. <laughs> Hello, is this uh, Nostalgie? Hi, I'm Sakuru from the Penang Heritage Food Trail. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, who's the artist who painted most of your paintings in your premise? The answer is Esther Wilton. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, uh, the answer is uh, Esther Rubens. Okay, that is the correct answer. So you have used another one of your lifelines. Okay, so we have wrapped up the question and answer session. Now we will go into the dare ring question session. So anyone who would like to dare anyone to take away his or her points so that you can gain, gain one point for yourself. Okay? So anyone who would like to dare, please raise up your finger. Okay, so Faisal, you'd like to dare someone? Who would you like to dare? 
Ah, Emily. Okay, what is your question? What is the postcode of this nostalgia? <laughs> One zero two hundred. Okay, that's the correct answer. So Emily, you have stolen one point from Paysan. Oh May, okay, you would like to dare someone. So who would you like to dare? Zoe's. Okay, what is your question? What is the shop opposite of Nostalgia Cafe? Um, it is uh Nazlina Spy Station. Okay, that's correct. It is uh, a correct answer. So you have gotten another point from May. Okay, next, who would like to dare anyone? Okay, so John has a question. Who would you like to dare the question to? Yeah. Okay, May Yi. So, what is your question? Okay, uh, what's the uh, what's the what do you call it? What's the promotion price for the four plus one uh, beer that they do uh, right now? It should be forty nine net. Okay, is that answer correct? Is that answer correct? Oh, it's wrong. Okay. <laughs> so the. The correct answer is actually 48, not 49. So, okay, you managed to steal one point from Mei Okay, Emily, you would like to dare someone. So, who would you like to dare it to? Peisan. Okay, so what is your question? How many types of cakes are there and what are they? I only knew their specialty, which is the carrot cake. <laughs> and the rest, I'm not too sure. So, okay, Emily, you get one point. So, let tell us what is the actual answer. Um, they have carrot cake and also brownie. So they actually have two types of cakes. One is the carrot cake and one is the brownie. So Emily, you got one point from Paysan. Yes. So all right, that wraps up the dare question for this round. So thank you very much for playing. We'll see you in the next round. Nostalgia to see what they have to offer. For more information, you can go to yourfoodreview.com. I'm Erilyn. See you in the next episode.